Last week, you would have seen and heard about that massive underwater volcanic eruption near the island nation of Tonga in the Pacific. So the devastating impact on that country. But a volcanic eruption of that size can also have a big impact around the world. Look at that. Dr. Zama Katamzi Joseph is at the South African National Space Agency. She, is a stud she studies ionospheric physics. She joins us now. Dr. Katamzi Joseph, good afternoon to you. I really appreciate the time. Thank you. So firstly, what have you picked up re regarding the uh, impact of the volcanic eruption? What impact does it actually have on the world's atmosphere? Good afternoon, Stephen, to you and also to your listeners. Um, we've analyzed the transport of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere from satellite data available between 13 and 21 January since sulfur dioxide is one of the gases that is um, found in volcanic smog. The images um, of this data analysis illustrates that by the 21st of January, sulfur di dioxide had not reached um, the Southern African shores yet. In fact, um, we see a dissipation of the gas as it travels from Tonga towards Africa. Are you able to determine if it has an impact on Africa or South Africa? And I realize that the atmosphere and the ionosphere is a very big place. Um, yes, indeed. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, we don't know the impact um, it, ca it will have yet because that will depend on the level or, or intensity um, of sulfur dioxide when it reaches our region. But what we can say is it is definitely... Um, traveling towards Africa, but as of 23 January, it hadn't reached us yet, but it is possible that it will reach us in a couple of days, and so we continue to monitor the situation. Um, the Earth has a very important geomagnetic field. Without that geomagnetic field, electricity would work slightly differently, as I understand it, but also your compass wouldn't work, as my son would tell you. Um, has there been an impact on the geomagnetic field? Because of this, it was an absolutely massive explosion. Um, a volcano has no impact on the intensity or direction of the geomagnetic field, or at least the global field. However, at the site of the volcano eruption, so in, uh, in Tonga in this instance, uh, there may be small distortions to the uh, magnetic field, but these rarely um, exceed 3% of the total in, um, intensity of the geomagnetic field. So um, the effects are very minor. Um, I mean, you obviously will be looking at the data. Have you picked up anything else from this? I mean, from what I've heard, it would possibly have been the loudest noise made on the planet this century. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, in terms of the um, effects that we've seen in um, South Africa, um, we haven't seen anything yet. But I have read a few articles that have seen um, gravity waves in the atmosphere emanating from the uh, volcano. And these have been picked up as far as, um, as England, for example. Sure. Um, an ecologist has suggested... Uh, sorry, did I interrupt you, Dr. Katamzi Joseph? No, no, I was finished. Thanks. An ecologist has suggested that ash from an explosion this big could actually have a cooling effect in our atmosphere. And I think there's a, there, there are a few examples. Uh, there's a particularly big explosion in Indonesia about 120 years ago, but longer than that perhaps, where that actually led to what in Europe they called the year without a summer, simply because there was the, the ash actually cooled the atmosphere. It meant that sun didn't get in. Does that kind of thing actually happen with volcanoes? Um, I can't really comment on that as that is not my field of expertise but i do know that um the volcano um, and the ash can have an effect um on the atmosphere not only local locally but regionally doctor i really appreciate the time thank you dr zamaka tamzi joseph from the south african national space agency an expert as you can hear on ionos i knew i was going to get this wrong at some point on ionospheric physics doctor i really appreciate the time thank you